Bill is tight. It's hard to breathe. How much? How much of the song do you want me to sing? Love. Searching and yearning to find the one to make my fairy tale come true. I'm Ashley DuBose, and I'm a singer songwriter, an independent artist. Um, I record and perform heavily around the Twin Cities, and um, my style of music, the genre that I think that I would fit most, is neo soul. But my style is really eclectic. My writing style and my singing style. Hoping and praying and wishing and waiting, searching and yearning to find the one to make my fairy tale come true. Knowing that this ain't the way it should be, thinking that I should be happy with me, but sometimes it gets lonely in my room. So music to me is any sounds that create like a melody or a rhythm. So those sounds can be words, like, you know, human voice. It can be, you know, the chirping of birds outside, the wind passing through leaves, you know, instruments, of course. I'm inspired most to create when I'm in a good mood. So a lot of times, it's not all, like the sun doesn't always have to be out, but Anytime it's a beautiful sunny day and like the weather is like 75 and breezy and uh, I just want to sing. Or sometimes when I'm getting, if I get off of work at, after a nice day, like maybe it was productive and I'm feeling good, I'll be singing in my car. I sing in my car a lot. Or maybe I'm just happy to be getting off of work. I see it so vivid, so real, I could feel it. For that one my all, I would give it. When I create, usually it starts as an improvisational singing, just um, maybe singing about what I'm feeling or something that's heavy on my mind. And then I'll write that down. Well, I'll repeat it. Like if I'm just doing things around the house, I have to repeat it enough so that I remember A, the lyrics and, and the melody. And then once I repeat it enough, it'll be like ingrained. And so there, there's times where a song will pop out of the blue and it was a song that I for, I consciously forgot about. And then it'll pop up and I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably record that. So I'll record it on my phone because my subconscious didn't forget. You know, so that's like a reminder to myself that I need to record that and then develop that into an actual full length song idea. I have a number of ways, like my process varies. My friend, he plays guitar, we'll just be in his room jamming and he'll play a few chords and I'm inspired that way and I'll write to what he's playing. So I rarely sit down to like write, like okay it's time to write a song. When I was a kid I had a dream, I always wanted my mom to have another kid so I could be a big sister holding a baby, you know, I always wanted a baby, it's weird. And then when I was a kid I would imagine like just walking down the street and finding an abandoned baby and taking the baby home and raising it and keeping it. So when I had my own baby, I was like, oh my gosh, like I get to keep her, like she's mine. I love being pregnant. I love feeling my daughter kick inside of me, not knowing who, or like what she was gonna look like, but just having all these I, I was looking forward so much to her being born and her dad was really helpful he was a very good helper during the time I was pregnant I had food I was comfortable everything that a pregnant woman needs I had he was a really good um, helper in that way and uh, yeah so the, those the days the months when I was pregnant that was definitely the highlight of my life that's drawn in the sand and life goes on Since I've been a mom, I've had like a number of things going on in addition to parenthood. I had my daughter when I was in college. I was also working. So the reason I was able to do that after I became a mom, and then later when I graduated, now I'm working full time, still doing acting stuff, music, and motherhood. I have a great support system. So it's not that I'm 
it's a one woman, you know, juggling act. It's really like my family, my friends, um, my support system really stepping in when I need them. I, I go to bed later than I should because I'm trying to squeeze in extra time with my daughter. And then she goes to bed later than she should because, of, you know, we just try to save her that time with each other. One day I'm hoping that I don't have to work a nine to five. I have about an hour with her in the morning. Then I get off work and I go get her from daycare at like 5.30. And then we have from 5.30 to the evening if I don't have anything going on. So we start getting ready for bed like at 9.30. So the total number of hours in a day maximum that I get with my daughter is like five hours. But if I was doing music, music is more flexible. A lot of the things that happen, happen during the evening, shows, um, recording sessions and things like that. And I would have that time during the day to spend with her. Or even if I had to bring her with me, I could bring her with me. I can't bring her with me at the job that I have right now. Once I've been able to make a living for myself and my daughter through doing what I love, which is to create music, write and record, perform, and hopefully even branch off into other um, areas of the entertainment world, I'll feel very pleased. Now, that doesn't mean that if those things don't happen. I don't feel like I've made it. I feel right now, looking at my blessings and the things I have right now, I'm very blessed. I'm content. I'm happy. God's blessed me with the ability to, you know, I have my own project out. People are listening to my music around the Twin Cities, around the world even, because I've had people write me from like Brazil, Malaysia, Africa, like telling me that they heard my music, you know, so literally people around the world, it might not be in massive numbers, but are hearing the music that I created. Like I'm doing shows like every week, uh, you know, I've been out to LA to see LA and like I never thought I was gonna be able to see and I saw palm trees and like you know I have a beautiful healthy daughter um, my family's healthy everybody's alive and well and that is awesome this is really a high point in my life right now because you don't never know what tomorrow brings you know I might have my money but if I don't have my health what good is that you know um, as far as a way to measure my success and when I feel like I would have made it or when I'd be really happy. Like I won't stop working until I can provide for my family and be like, I made this happen. I made them comfortable through my music. So that's when I feel like I've made it. Of course I want love someday too. And I do want another kid. So hopefully when all that um, transpires, I'll be in love with a family as well. Give him all my troubles so he could take him far away.